Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. I am here to discuss about 20 days preparation strategy for ISRO scientist examination. See for mechanical engineering students, there are lot of opportunities for scientists in ISRO. See, two types of examinations will be conducted for mechanical engineering students. One on mechanical engineering paper, the second one on refrigeration and air conditioning. So mechanical engineering paper will be conducted through IRCB. Whereas, refrigeration and air conditioning paper is conducted through CEPO. So, you have lot of opportunity dear students. Now, let us discuss about the 20 days preparation strategy. Before going into that, first of all, we need to understand the pattern of the examination. See, coming to the examination detail. So, date of examination is 14th September 2025 dear students. And coming to the pattern of examination, part A, part B, both will be there. So, in part A, you have technical subjects, all multiple choice questions. 80 questions will be there, 80 marks and there is a negative marking of one third for each wrong answer. Okay. Then, part B contains aptitude or ability tests. Here also, multiple choice questions will be there, 15 questions, 20 marks. So, here you will have 10 one mark questions, 5 two marks questions. There is no negative marking for this part B and the duration of the examination is 120 minutes that means exactly two hours time will be given for this examination now let us go for the interview process once you clear the examination so then there will be an interview interview has got much importance in isro examination dear students see based on the performance in the written test candidates will be shortlisted for interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5 so with an aggregate minimum of 10 candidates that is what he has mentioned in the notification, official notification. Then final selection will be 50% based on the written test and 50% based on the interview with minimum aggregate cutoffs. See, coming to the interview, so they will be testing your technical abilities, your comprehension skills, then your analytical abilities, as well as they will consider your percentile of marks and from where you have studied the institution. Okay. So, all these things they will be considering in the interview process. Now, let us see the weightage of various subjects. See, from the past few years, in these subjects, the weightage you can observe clearly. See, every year there is a variation in the weightage, dear students. Don't consider that in this particular subject, you will get more questions. In this particular subject, you will get less questions. Every subject has got equal importance. So, try to understand that and based on that, you need to prepare. See, you can observe clearly engineering mechanics weightage. So, it has been changing throughout. Okay, then strength of materials, you can see the weightage. See, strength of materials, fluid mechanics, and turbo machinery, thermal engineering and production, these subjects will have little higher weightage compared to other subjects. But if you observe the latest paper which was held in 2024 with the notification of 2023, so here you can observe in machine design, they have given more number of questions. Okay, then you can observe theory of machines. So theory of machines also they have given more questions and strength of materials they have given more emphasis then you can observe production and thermal engineering has got good weightage also see sometimes they are asking the questions out of the syllabus see as you know usually the gate syllabus will be considered for isro examination syllabus also okay now let us go for the preparation strategy dear students see coming to the preparation strategy see you need to maintain a formula sheet see one page formula sheet for each subject if you are able to write that is more than sufficient to quickly revise all the formulas so that is one important thing then the most important thing as there are less number of days so you should not learn directly the concepts and then go for solving the problems so first you need to attempt some tests or you need to solve some previous year questions so you have to learn from the concepts through questions so, whatever the questions you are not able to solve. So, you need to understand from which topic that question came. So, you need to solve that particular topic. So, if you don't understand that topic, then you can refer some standard textbook or go through some YouTube lectures or 
you can request some faculty member to clarify that doubt. So, this is most important thing dear students as only 20 days is left over for your preparation. You have to learn concept through questions. Then ISRO previous year questions. So, you need to solve at least 10 to 12 years of questions. Then skip lengthy derivations. See, ISRO will not concentrate on derivations dear students. Mostly it will be concentrating on the end results and as well as the application of that particular derivation. So, try to skip all these lengthy derivations. Most important thing in competitive exams is time management. See, you should be in a position to solve 80 to 90 questions within 90 minutes. Then only you will be able to solve the 95 questions in the ISRO examination paper within the stipulated 120 minutes of time. Okay, so that is one important thing. Then most important thing is your accuracy is more important than coverage of the syllabus. See, don't waste time on untouched topics now. Okay, so if you didn't concentrate on some concepts when you are preparing for this ISRO examination or any examination, don't focus on those topics in the last minute. Neglect them. You just focus on the concepts which you have learnt already and you just improve your accuracy in those topics. Okay, now you can follow certain tools dear students. First one Pomodoro technique. See, this is a time management technique dear students. So, you can follow this time management techniques, usually four Pomodoros. You can do. So, what is this Pomodoro technique? I will explain. See, first 20 minutes focused learning should be there. Then five minutes you need to take break. Okay, 20, 25 minutes focused learning, five minutes break. Then again 25 minutes of focused learning then 5 minutes break, 25 minutes of focused learning, 5 minutes break. After the fourth 25 minutes, you need to take a long break, dear students. See, in the first 25 minutes, if you are preparing some formulas or concepts, then in the next 25 minutes, try to solve questions from that particular topic. That will help you in gaining complete grip over the topic. Is it clear? Then you need to go through error logbook. See, track every mistake you have done. So, when you are solving the previous year questions or when you are attempting the test series as well. So, this error logbook will help you a lot in improving your accuracy in that particular topic. Then, formula notebook. So, revise daily. As I told you, one page sheet should be there for each and every subject. So, you need to revise that formula notebook. So, whenever you find leisure time, just open one page read two to three formulas and revise it for five times. Repetition will help you in remembering the concepts for longer periods of time, dear students. Then, if you have prepared a short notes earlier for any competitive examinations, use that short notes and learn the concepts. Okay, so these are the tools that you can use. And the most important thing, what you need to do, what you shouldn't do during the preparation of the examination. First of all, so when you have a plan, stick to the plan. Execution of the plan is more important than planning, dear students. See, most of the students fail because they can't execute their plan. The reason for that is nowadays we have a lot of distractions. You need to overcome those distractions so that you can stick to the plan and you can prepare very well for the examination. And most important thing is when you are preparing for any examination, try to put your phone in airplane mode so that you can avoid the distractions, dear students. Then revise formulas daily. So this is one important thing. Practice daily the questions and attempt more mock tests. So these are the do's which you have to follow. Then avoid new topics late in the preparation. This one I have already told you, dear students. Then don't ignore aptitude. See, most of the students, they think that we can solve aptitude questions. Many times because of this, overconfidence, people are failing dear students. Don't ignore aptitude. Try to solve as many number of questions as possible so that your speed and accuracy will improve. Okay, then don't burn out near the examination. See, some students will be preparing day and night for this examination. So, at the final stage, they will get burnt out. So, don't do that mistake dear students. So, before the examination, one or two days, couple of days, try to have ample rest. Okay, 
please be focused do some meditation that will help you in writing the examination with proper confidence dear students now as engineering academy and as online are conducting live sessions for the benefit of the students so here you can see the schedule august 25th onwards this live classes will be conducted in youtube so on 25th mathematics subject is there 26th reasoning then 27th fluid mechanics and engineering mechanics 28th strength of materials 29th material science 30th im and or 31st production then september 1st machine design then september 2nd heat transfer september 3rd theory of machines and september 4th thermodynamics the schedule will be at 6 pm dear students every day it will start from 6 pm so this is what we are offering for the benefits of the students dear students now as academy is conducting online test series for mechanical engineering students so already the series have started from 20th june 2025 there will be a 16 tests 13 subject wise tests and three full length mock tests so in order to apply for this you can scan this qr code dear students or you can go to as engineering academy website or as online website where you can apply for this test series so this will help you in gaining the confidence as well then previous year questions books are available on as engineering publications website amazon as well as flipkart so past 10 to 15 years of questions are available in this particular book dear students isro questions not only that if you are not able to prepare for the short notes or something you can go through the handbook so this is also available on as engineering publications amazon and flipkart and you need to go through one mark questions of previous year gate examinations so those one mark questions also will help you in writing the isro examination properly dear students okay so for more details you can scan this qr code or call to the number 77999962 or you can put a mail to help at the rate as.online dear students okay so all the very best dear students i hope you will get a very good job that is the scientist job in isro all the very best again thank you